I often mention in my videos that there are always multiple ways of getting to the same endpoint in knitting. In today's video, I'll demonstrate how yarn overs are done differently for continental knitters than for English knitters and why the difference in instructions can cause confusion, particularly when the yarn overs are between stitches that are not both knits. I'll explain how you can successfully produce yarn overs between any two stitches based on your knitting style and regardless of the instructions provided. If you would like to jump to a specific point in the video, tap or mouse over the video playback area of your screen to reveal the chapter titles with links to each section of the video. You can have different ways of presenting instructions that will produce exactly the same end result. So oftentimes there are some assumptions about how the knitter is going to be working that influences how those instructions are presented. One example of this is the instruction for a yarn over. In some patterns it doesn't matter whether the idea is to have an eyelet between two knit stitches, between two purl stitches, between a purl and a knit, or between a knit and a purl. The instruction would always be YO or yarn over. But in other patterns, and specifically these patterns tend to be published in the UK, the instructions are different. Uh, and they are different depending on whether the two stitches flanking the eyelet are both knits, both purls, a purl and then a knit, or a knit and then a purl. So I want to go through um, the process of creating these different eyelets, and I'm going to demonstrate it in both continental, where I hold the yarn in my left hand, and in English style of knitting, where I hold it in my right hand. I'm going to knit two stitches and then I'm going to create what is called a yarn over. And so I'm going to take my working needle I'm just going to bring it around that strand of yarn. So now I have a strand of yarn sitting on the needle and it's, that is my new stitch. And now I need to knit the next two stitches. So I have created that eyelet on there. Now let's go through and let's do the same process, but we're going to create it um, in, in between two purl stitches. So I'm going to uh, purl two stitches. And now I'm going to create a yarn over. So again, I just come around, uh, bring my needle around the yarn, and now I need to purl those stitches. So uh, now I can purl them. So once again, I've created a, a, a yarn over on the needle. Um, so now I want to purl these two stitches, create a yarn over, and then knit the next stitch. So purl those two stitches. Once again, I'm just bringing my needle around uh, underneath that yarn. I've got my yarn over, but I have to knit the next stitch. So now I'm bringing my yarn to the back, and now I'm knitting those two stitches. And finally, I want to knit two stitches, do a yarn over, and then work the purl stitches. So my yarn's already in back. I am going to knit those two stitches, create my yarn over. Once again, I'm just bringing my needle underneath that yarn. Um, but now I need to purl the next two stitches. So now I'm bringing the yarn to the front and I'm purling them. So I essentially did the same exact action for every one of those yarn overs or eyelets. Um, I brought my needle underneath the yarn and then I worked the next stitch um, however it needed to be worked. If I needed to, to bring the yarn forward or move it back, I did that in order to create the stitch. So now let's go through this process with the yarn in the right hand and using instructions that you would normally find in a pattern published in the UK. So the pattern would be uh, to knit two stitches, and then the pattern would say yarn forward. So in order to do that, I have to bring the yarn to the front, and then I would just knit the next stitch. So as I knit, I have to bring the yarn to the back in order uh, to produce that stitch. And so that, that creates that loop on the needle. So now let's see what happens if we wanna do it between two purl stitches. So create the two purl stitches, 
so the yarn is already in front so we don't we don't do a yarn forward the yarns already here instead the instruction would be yarn round needle so it, it, they're telling you to bring the yarn around the needle just like you would if you were purling a stitch only you haven't inserted the needle into uh, an existing stitch on the left hand needle. You just bring it around the needle just like you would for any purl stitch and then you would purl the next stitch. So that one was yarn round needle. So now what happens if you have two purl stitches then you need an eyelet and then you have to work uh, two knit stitches. So again I'm going to purl my stitches And now the instruction is usually just yarn over needle, uh, but just like uh, when you were doing it between two knit stitches and you brought the yarn forward, the yarn is already forward and you're going to be knitting a, a stitch after that. So I can just knit that stitch and it's automatically going to bring the yarn over the needle as I do so. But now we have the situation where we have a two knits and then we need to create the eyelet and then we have two purls. So we do our two knits and then the instruction is going to be yarn forward and then it's going to be yarn round needle. So, so you brought the yarn forward and then you actually bring it around the needle and now you can purl it. So I haven't brought it around twice. I just brought it forward and then around uh, once and then I can do um, the purl. So obviously not all knitters who hold the yarn in the right hand knit English style the way I do and not all knitters who hold the yarn in the left hand uh, knit continental the way I do. Um, but the point is that this different positioning of the yarn can influence the process that it takes in order to create a yarn over. When you hold the yarn in your left hand you're always creating the yarn over the same way. Wherever the yarn is already positioned you can create your yarn over just by bringing the needle under it and it's uh, where, whatever the stitch after that is that deter determines whether or not you need to reposition the yarn. When you are an English knitter um, you have to position the yarn in order to create your yarn over. You you don't do the same thing every time. Uh, but what can help if you have instructions that just tell you to do a yarn over and you're not sure exactly how to do the yarn over based on the two stitches that are flanking it, what you can remember is that the first thing you do is move the yarn to the front if it's not already there. Then you bring, then the yarn has to come over the needle. Um, and to the back and then it has to be positioned wherever it needs to be in order to work the next stitch. So if the next stitch was a purl then you would have to bring it to the front. But the yarn is always traveling around the needle just like it would if you were creating a regular stitch but you just have to remember yarn in front, um, over the needle and then, re and then position. If you are a continental knitter and you have a British pattern that's telling you all these different actions to take based on what kind of a yarn over it is, you can just cross out those instructions in your pattern and just write yarn over instead. For a continental knitter to try to do yarn forward and then, and then being told to knit where then they have to bring the yarn over back like this, it's a lot harder for a continental knitter to do those kinds of actions than it is to just bring the needle under and then position the yarn after you have completed your yarn over. When you understand what result the pattern is calling for, that frees you to use whatever technique gets you there based on your knitting style or knitting preferences. If you have any comments or questions about today's video or suggestions for videos you'd like to see in the future, you can leave those down in the comments below or join the discussion in my Ravelry group, Rocks Rocks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.